Hello guys, so in this video I'm going to explain to you the strategy pattern in C-sharp. Let's start by looking into a diagram. So we have an object called context, which is a general context of what we are trying to achieve. Let's say in our scenario it will be printing invoices. So we will have an invoice context, for example we could call it invoice provider, which then contains a reference to an abstract strategy. So the our context will have um, an ins a reference to an abstraction. It may be abstract class or an interface, which we will call abstract strategy. This abstract strategy will be implemented by concrete classes. So for example, concrete strategy one, concrete strategy two. Both of them will extend the abstract class called abstract strategy. So we will provide the context with a concrete strategy via a constructor. So the context has only a reference to an abstraction, but we will provide a concrete implementation through a constructor to the context so it can use it. So uh, the context doesn't know which concrete implementation which concrete strategy will be used, we can choose it from the outside. So let, let's see how it looks like uh, in the practical example using C Sharp code. Here we are in Visual Studio. Let's see what, we, what we've got here. We have the invoice service, which will be used as the context for our example. So we have invoice service, which will contain a method print invoice. And it has a constructor which has a parameter of type invoice provider and it will get the concrete implementation through the constructor and save it as a property. So the invoice provider is an abstract class. So as you can see, the invoice service will only have reference to abstraction and not a, a, any complete any concrete implementation. So going back to the invoice provider, it only has definition of abstract class print invoice. And then we have two concrete implementations of this strategy. So we have external invoice provider and internal invoice pro provider. Both of them extend the invoice provider abstract class and they implement the print invoice method. They will just use console write line to display the, the string into the console window. So right now in the program.cs I can instantiate the strategy by using the constructor of internal invoice provider, for example. Then I can create the context by invoking the constructor of invoice service and providing the constructor with the concrete strategy inside of the parameter. After that, I can use the context.print invoice and it will invoke the print invoice method of the context, which then will invoke the print invoice method of the provider, which in this scenario will be the internal invoice provider. Let's see how it works. I will just add console.readline so the console window won't, will not close automatically so we can see the result. Let's see. As you can see the internal invoice provider was invoked. We, we see the correct string information inside of the console window. I hope that this quick introduction to strategy design pattern was helpful to you. Uh, if you have any questions I will gladly I uh, answered them um, in the comments section and um, I hope to see you soon in the future videos.